Okay, so hello guys, good morning. So it's what's the date today? It's November something, but it's Sunday. <laughs> um, I remember that I do have two pasteurized bags that I need to inoculate them. So these are 1.2 kilo bags. Yep. You can see this is really vacuumed during the sterilization. This one is not, I don't know how the pressure cooker does it, but usually this is the result. Sometimes both of them are really vacuumed like this one. There's no air pockets. But sometimes it's just like this. And uh, this, this one this is just a display brain. <clears throat> inoculated on November 8th and the mycelium although it's really thin on the video is around here so probably around the week so probably today is November 14 something like that and uh, what we're gonna do is to use this F2 I'm not sure if you can see it F2 so on F2, uh, from the uh, grains that I've inoculated with uh, mushroom tissue, that's going to be uh, my F0, and that F0 is going to transfer to another uh, sterilized grains, and that's going to be my F1. And that F1, once fully colonized, I transfer it to another sterilized grains that makes it an F2. So this is an F2 and I only do it up, un to up until this point before transferring to substrate uh, but sometimes I use F1 and yeah that's it so we're gonna use an F2 on inoculating this bag so uh, during this process I'm not gonna flame sterilize my tools I'm just gonna uh, what you call this disinfect them with alcohol and that's it also I already cleaned the area and make made sure that uh, doors and windows are closed so that there's minimal air disturbance so <clears throat> for this two I'm just gonna clear it up I think this is the first time that I've documented um, using F2 as spawn but I did use it before but usually, usually I use F1 because I do have a lot of F1. But sometimes when I made um, sterilized greens and I don't have uh, enough F0 to transfer, I use F1. That's why I'm able to have F2. I only have four of this right now. But definitely, it's, it can you can do it if you don't have much of an F0. Use your F1 transfer to your greens to make them F2, and they're gonna work just fine. <clears throat> Based on the books, you can transfer the maximum of three times because doing beyond that will actually have your. I don't know if it's genetics or your output or your fruits far away from its mother uh, mother culture wherein the mushroom tissue the F0 so yeah I make F0 based on the physical appearance of the fruits that's how I pick my cultures so you don't you pick that because you like how the fruit actually uh, looks so 
don't go beyond F2 because the next transfer is probably an F3 even though it's a substrate so I consider it the next transfer so I mm, I use at most F2 only I'm not using F3 but on the experiment before I did use F3 but I didn't document it so I don't sure if I don't I did not but I know I did not document it so <laughs> this one let's just mix it up and for this two uh, substrate I'm gonna use this all because this is probably around yeah just probably around 10 days old so based on the result <clears throat> they're really good I mean they become white faster than what I have on an F1 which usually takes two weeks up to three weeks <clears throat> to fully, fully colonize let's just get the half first because yeah half for this first bag and half for the other bag <laughs> good enough I'm not gonna seal it yet. I'm gonna seal it after. But you just have to close it like that. And if you're doing or you're making your own spawn, doing this kind of inoculation is uh, really not an issue because uh, it's cheaper. Because you're the one who's actually gonna make your own spawn if I'm gonna buy this probably this is gonna range from 80 to 100 pesos but there are farms that sell spawns for 50 pesos so that's really cheap but <laughs> I don't have that much I do sell my mine for from 100 pesos so that's twice the price and it's up to you if you're gonna buy because I only produce small amount and still planning to upgrade but you know I don't have that much of a facility here so if my spawns are not bought I'm gonna use it like this I don't care how much I put it here because it's my spawn and it's cheaper that way <clears throat> so you have to practice your spawning you might have many failures but this that's part of the game and what you want is to minimize it if you can afford the uh, flow hood something like that that's really awesome I like that but I don't have badger it's kind of costly even making your own is still costly for me okay so I'm right now doing the heat seal I heat seal it for uh, around seven or eight seconds then I just keep on pressing for another 10 seconds to <coughs> pull it off and yeah. I'm gonna do it again to make sure we are in good shape here so 
So that's it. That's how fast you can actually inoculate. But on bags like this one, on bags like this one, when I'm using cracked corn, I can probably inoculate 10 to 12 bags of this. Because these are just top spawning, as you can see, just on the sides. And that's it. But if you're gonna use, let's say, sorghum seeds, um, I usually average from 17 to <coughs> 19 of these bags. Because the sorghum seeds do have smaller grains than the cracked corn. So I tend to use lesser per bag. Even though they're on the same weight technically. So yeah, if I can buy some locally produced Sorghum greens, that's yeah, really cool. But here, most of the sorghum greens are imported it's either India or from Australia. That's what I see. <clears throat> but it's not wrong to, to buy from those if you really want to use them. But for me, as much as possible, I'm going to support. support local market, local businesses that I have around. <clears throat> okay, almost done. So after this, I'm just gonna spread the spawns. I'm gonna let you see how I spread it right now. Before, I'm actually breaking the substrate. But now I think uh, just letting them sit on the sides it's good enough I'll show you I don't know if this is a good technique but it works for me because it's already vacuumed from the inside so and then I'm actually just pulling the plastic in the spawn go inside that's it it's not much of a trick here just to be honest since it's already vacuum sealed I don't have any opening here or filters it's really hard to have any air on the inside as of this moment so if I'm gonna break it I'm gonna uh, have a really hard time doing it so I did discover it when I uh, tried to use this when I noticed that they're actually going on the side when I do it so why not do it <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but you know you do things differently most of the time always hopeful that it's the right thing to do and just make sure not to tear the bag because you might tear them off and that's a bigger problem but that's it. <laughs> Looks cool. Looks cool to me. It's up to you if you're gonna use it. Cause yeah, if the greens actually becomes active again, the silly will go here, go here, go and penetrate the center. Yeah, and it's it's all over the place. Probably the last part to be colonized will be the bottom that's how I see it and we do have uh, already done this kind of spawning I have uh, bags at the second floor on the incubation area which are the pink 
and you do know that uh, do have two consecutive failures in doing own bags for pink oyster mushroom so this substrate is actually composted so these are composted substrate and we're gonna have a video on how I did it and I just actually um, what you call this saw it on a youtuber because usually here in the Philippines they're gonna pasteurize or, or uh, pasteurize compost the substrate for a really long time 21 days and on this video I only saw it for 10 days but still I was able to do it for 11 days because there are different factors that you need to consider when you're composting that I did consider as well not just follow the 10 days because just like what I've told you there are different the soul per location that's why that's what I mean and you have to adjust on this kind of uh, substrate because it's not a vacuum I'm having a hard time making air pockets on the inside I might actually just push some substrate here to make some room so let's see some substrate and I was able to have some spines going from inside go from the center <coughs> of the substrate yeah there that's what that's what we're talking about That's it, I just want to some some spawns on the four sides of the yeah, that's it, that's fine. So that you don't uh, you do know that the next part is oh, sorry. Next part is making some holes. So I did forgot to get my micro, micro core tape. So we're gonna put a triangular opening here and seal it with micro core tape. So I get the center. Just one side of the plastic, okay? Just one side of the plastic. So we fold it like this and cut it like this triangle and voila you're gonna have an opening there and you have to seal it away yeah I'm taking my time <laughs> it's really not a good practice but it works for me guys so if you do want to do it on a low cost, don't have anything like that. tools that really high end tools. Um, but uh, if you're gonna invest on a high end tools, make sure that you do have a good space for your laboratory because I think the best tools uh, or inoculation something like that is a flow hood and you need to place that flow hood on a good space 
on a dedicated spacing. But, okay, so let's just find the center. Get to hold it. Just make sure that you only gonna cut on the one side of the back. So that's it. Let me cut it out. Once I cut this, air can pass through, so vacuum is released and it's better. It's easier to open it up. That's it. Repair your microport tape. Just two layers. Well, you can do four layers, I guess. But I'm just using two layers. <clears throat> so let me just check the date, because the next part is labeling. So the date today is November 14. And this is a wide, wide variety. Eleven, fourteen, wide. Oh my god, this is a one point two kilobyte. And usually, um, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> per one kilo. Uh, based on the books that I've read, you can actually have a yield of an average of 35%. So if you're getting more than that, then that's good. It means that you have a good substrate for the machine to grow. But yeah, that's what I've read regarding yields. Something like that. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me. And see you next video, guys. Bye bye.